Welcome to the Real Life Resilience Podcast. Stories of recovery from life's most difficult trauma with Stacy Brookman. Hey, fans of Right of Your Life. Stacy Brookman here, your podcast host. And this is a special episode. I wanted to give you a little bit of a heads up. As you may have noticed, the podcast artwork has changed and so did the name. You can tell by the new introduction as well. The podcast is now called Real Life Resilience, Stories of Recovery from Life's Most Difficult Trauma. So you might be wondering, Stacy, where in the heck have you been in the past year? Or what's up with the Real Life Resilience name change? And that's what I wanted to share a bit about today. This past year has been a year of change for me. I got married, I moved to a new city, I'm now in Phoenix, Arizona, and I changed jobs. That's a lot of change. So while I was at it, I thought I would change up Right of Your Life to be even more focused on what it was already shaping up to be, a fantastic resilience resource. Actually, I could have just relaunched Right of Your Life and kept on going with that. But I spent some time diving deep in a very thorough process to discover that people need tools to get through their trauma or get beyond their previous trauma to live a more joy-filled life, to be resilient. Hearing stories of recovery can inspire us to reflect on our own tough times. It's the tough times we all go through that spark the need to know our own stories. Really knowing our stories brings about an amazing resilience. Writing helps you know your story and heal from those tough situations. And with that, you become more resilient. That's a beautiful word, resilient. When I was brainstorming and I heard that word, I knew that was what I wanted to build this new podcast around. The Real Life Resilience podcast mission is to tell stories of recovery from life's most difficult trauma and provide tools for resiliency. That means real life resilience may spark your curiosity if you've perhaps been through hell and lived to tell about it. Maybe you've got an unbelievable story to share. You've got family skeletons that are poking out of the closet. You want to move beyond your label. You desire to tell a truth that no one knows. Or your wisdom cries out to be heard. Maybe you've been told, you should write about that. Or simply, you want to be more resilient. I hope you'll continue to download and listen to the Real Life Resilience podcast. Real Life Resilience listeners are people who like an interesting story. People who may, at some point, write about their lives, whether it's in a journal, a memoir, or a personal essay, for publishing or not. They are people who are just starting to realize the health and psychological benefits of writing through a stressful time or writing to reflect on past difficulty to become more resilient. There are also genealogists who want to tell their family history, teens and youth who want to discover how and why to write about their life, and others who have an interest in memoir and story in general. I've been through some traumatic times in my life. And if you listen to the episode called The Sociopath's Wife, where my friend Phaedra interviewed me, you heard part of that story. But when I went through that time, writing was one of the tools I adopted to be more resilient and recover much quicker than if I hadn't written my stories down. I want you, my listeners, to find your resilience. It's out there. With the new podcast, I want my guests to share what real life resilience is and how we can all find our resilience. The guests that I have lined up exemplify resilience themselves and they have valuable information for you on how to be more resilient. For instance, in the next few weeks, Kathy Groover from the Alternative Medicine Cabinet will talk about how our body reacts to what other people say and how that affects our immune system. Kamala Chambers will share insights on journeying through failed relationships and how she's learned to look back and make peace with her past. Manny Wolf will reveal how he escaped the cults and violence of his youth and the lessons we can take away from how he changed his life. 
you're really going to love Matt Gagnon's philosophy that it's never too late to follow your own passion, to live your dream, and to write your own comeback story. There are so many great people in interviews that I can't wait to share with you. Webster's Dictionary defines resilience as an ability to recover from or adjust easily to misfortune or change. Our lives are filled with change. It's inevitable. So we, as human beings, might as well learn to be resilient. Strengthening our resilience will make us happier and healthier. We all want to bounce back from difficult experiences, don't we? Real-life resilience will help you know how to recover from life's most difficult trauma. Research proves that resilience can be learned and developed in anyone. I'd love to show you how through my podcast interviews. At the end of each podcast interview, I'll share the Stacy's Journal segment, where I let you peek into my journal as I share my thoughts on a topic or resilience resource. I also have something really cool to share with you, a master list. It is the 100 most important memoirs of the past 200 years. And so if you want a reading bucket list, this is it. And I'll give you a hint. The very first one was written in 1791. Along with the Real Life Resilience podcast, I'll present a blog each week with tons of great information, including some of the scientific research out there on living a more resilient life. That will be over on my website, which I've conveniently named stacybrookman.com. This isn't about fluff or sharing meaningless, feel-good words. I really want to give you some practical advice based on science about living a more resilient life. Oh, and I can't forget to tell you a few of the other things I've been working on behind the scenes. Get this. The first one is, I have a free webinar I'm excited to share with you. It's about four simple proven steps to writing the first chapter of your life story in just seven days. It can be done, and I'll show you how. If you participate in this webinar within one week, you will write that vital first chapter of your life story. My goal is for you to learn why it's important for anyone, even people who don't consider themselves writers, to discover and write their life stories, the health, the psychological, and emotional benefits. And if you're curious about that, you can visit stacybrookman.com slash webinar and see what it's all about. My next adventure is a one-day online course called The Art of Remembering to Forget. Why write a story you never want to publish? I'm going to show you the foundational research that proves that writing about your past, including the tough feelings you may have had, can help you put that painful past where it belongs, as a distant memory, where it can't hurt you anymore. If you're curious about that, you can visit stacybrookman.com slash Art, A-R-T. Remember, I'm all about resilience, and these two things I'm putting out there will both put you in a more resilient position in your life. So that's what's coming up. I hope you are getting as excited as I am about the newest podcast episodes coming out. Now, I love answering my email personally, so if you have any questions about life storytelling, about resilience, recovery, or anything else, please feel free to email me at Stacy S-T-A-C-Y, at stacybrookman.com. I'll respond to your emails. Before I go, would you mind doing me a favor? The podcast will get more visibility if you share with friends and neighbors. Would you be willing to do that for me? Not only will they get a great resilience resource, but the podcast will get a boost. Feel free to connect with us and share on Facebook and Pinterest or anywhere you care to share it with other people who might need a boost in their resilience. I look forward to chatting with you next week.